Okay, and now I'm going to show you how you can create absolutely stunning transition and this call it rip paper transition. For this tutorial, I used our paper project. We have collected over 200 different assets for you. Different transitions, textures, overlays, and tons of different PNG files. I leave a link to this project and other in the description. Now let's move on to the tutorial. First, let's find three frames and make a freeze frame for each. Then we add the PNG paper to our project and we start in with adding our background and set the blending mode to screen. Next, we add our paper and start animating it using masks along the fault lines to create the keyframes every three frames. Now let's add our second paper and do the same actions. We animate with a mask and set keyframes every three frames. You can create different sequences and directions. Select all keyframes and set toggle hold keyframes. Mark with different colors to avoid confusion. Then we'll start animating our clips with masks. For this we simply select the pen tool and select the area we want to use. For our clip we add track made to our paper. Duplicate the paper and set blending mode to screen. Make duplicates of our clip and create a mask. Repeat this two more times so we have separate parts we can animate it later. And now we simply transform the clips every three frames. Copy of our paper and place it under our clip and add the fill effect. Change the color to white and add the simple choker effect and set chalk made to minus 21. This is how we added an outline for the paper. Now we do the same work for our second clip. Trim everything what we don't need, create a composition and name it whatever you want. I call it paper rip transition. Duplicate our transition and drag it further and simply create reverse time and trim the axis. Create a new adjustment layer, move two frames right and two frames to left and trim it. Add exposure effect, create keyframes at set 4 in the center and 0 on the sides. Duplicate our adjustment layer and drag it to the end for the transition. Go to the composition with our transition and add drop shadow effect to our bottom paper. Remove distance, set softness to 70 and opacity to 80. Duplicate the effect and add it to the second paper. Let's also add some sound effects and we are done. Thank you so much for watching and if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, subscribe to us and leave a comment. This way you won't miss out our latest tutorials and exciting new project releases. Good luck!